Okay, so this video will be um, on uh, the conjugations of um, most verbs um, in Italian. Uh, in I'm going to do the present tense, maybe some past tense today. Um, so to start, I just want to go over the verbs essere, to be, and avere, to have. Essere is spelled like that, and follows the pattern of io, sono, I am, tu, se, you are, lui, le, which is basically he or she, e, is. Now note that there is an accent on top of that e. Without the accent, it just becomes and. Lui le e. Noi. We. Siam. We are. Noi siamo. Noi siamo. Voi. You all are. Siete. Voi siete. Okay. Now for they. Loro. They. Sono. They are. Loro sono. Okay. And now for avere. Now, avere is the verb to have. Io o. Oh. I do not pronounce the H. If you pronounce the H, it will sound like io ho. And io ho sounds really bad if we're trying to speak Italian. And Italian speakers will most likely laugh at you. Io o. Oh. To I, A I, just pronounce the A I, not the H. Louis, Le, he or she has. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. Noi, abbiamo. No, that's normal. Noi abbiamo. Okay. Voi avete loro. No. You pronounce it the same way that you pronounce year in Italian, which is also anno. Except the year in Italian doesn't have the H in front of it. We're just ignoring the H for pronunciation purposes. Now, if I wanted to go through just regular verbs in the present tense, I would have to go through the three different types. We have aari. This was basically how they end. Iari, Iari. Okay. Now, I'm going to do an A-R-E real quick. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Studiare. To study. Now, the conjugation for any A-R-E verb goes as the following. And this is ignoring all of the irregulars that do exist in the Italian language. The irregulars require a bit more attention, and therefore I will go through them in a different uh, video, hopefully. Io studio. Pronounce it as you see it. Io studio. There's no tricks with that. Tu studi. You study. Lui le studia. Okay. And then, noi studiamo. Voi studiate. This time, because it ends in ARE, so it must be ate at the end. Loro studiano. Again here, it must end in the A-N-O, because it is A-R-E. It's precisely the reason. Now, A-R-E verbs take the past participle of, of auto, in that sense, auto, like that. For example, like most other languages that are Romance languages, in order to form the normal past tense, not the imperfect, but the normal past tense, 
we must take a vector or S ray and combine it. We'll conjugate that, and then we take whatever verb we have that we're using and we put in the past participle, much like the ed of a verb. Like I have studied, the ed at the end of that is like the auto for airy. Okay, and now going through ERE verbs are a little, little bit more complicated. Um, they essentially have the same ending, just the only difference is that instead of studia, it becomes, it would become whatever verb it, it would end with the E instead of that A over there, instead of this A, it would become an E because it's ERE. Okay, and the studio that that will stay the same. All of that will stay the same, but also the void form changes, changes to e t e instead of a t e. Okay, and studiano should remain the same virtually. Now for iri. Iri are a bit more picky about uh, things. The IRE verbs, like let's say, uh, finire, to finish, can take either isk or just be normal. By the way, to add on to this list that we have, I'm going to add, let's just add, let's just play this auto Uto, ito, for reference purposes. Ato is the past participle of that ARE verb. Past participle of the ERE is uto, and past participle of the IRE is ito. Ato, uto, ito. That makes sense. Finire. Let's go through finire. It will be io, i, finisco. You see how it has this ending of isco. That is precisely a majority of the IRE verbs. Some of them are a little regular and don't happen to follow that, so we'll deal with those later. To finish, lui le finisce. And, but the thing about isco is that it becomes when we have a noi, we it just becomes regular again. Noi finiamo. Voi. But here we um here for this at the voi form we don't use the ARE form. We don't use um actually we do use the ERE form. So it should be more like, actually, it should be more like finite instead. Laurel, and then we continue the process. It should be finisco. No. The voice and noi are a little bit different. They they don't uh, follow the isk no matter what. Okay, but now I'm going to do an example of the. Um, past tense a little with these in order to clear things up over there in the left corner. For example, for studiare. Now, I know it has to be a to have verb. Why? Well, that's because it s ray must be verbs of motion, like I am going or I went or something with motion. A majority of the verbs do not take s ray but take a very. For example, let's, let's say I want to say I studied, just normally. Well, I know that studiare, ARE verb, and I see my very over there. You know, it's EOO. What do I do with that studiare, though? Well, it becomes studiato. Why? Because it a T O over there. Okay. So io studiato. Likewise 
you study do I study Ato. The only reason that anything would change in that ending would be if it was an essay taking verb, it has to agree with gender and number. Okay? <clears throat> and this can continue for Louis Le, etc. Um, Uto takes the same way that Otto did. It would be, um, if I had an ERU verb, it would be, it would just turn to Uto at the end. And Ito at the end would be ITO of the fin Finire would become Finito. And then that's pretty much um, how you would conjugate those verbs. Um, that's all uh, for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and have fun.